Okay, this is the blue belt, which is the second cue. It's a continuation of third cue. The first seven techniques required for third cue to both left and right sides are also required for blue belt, both left and right sides. But also, is the next seven techniques. The first of those is Nanami Zuki. So what's going to happen, my partner's going to step back into a fine stance, pull up his hands. Now, Nanami Zuki is a slant and strike. Well, it can either be a, a strike to the side of the head, it could be a punch to the side of the head, it could be a bottle, or any sort of strike to the side of the head. So what we're going to do is take it from a, a, a right punch into the side of the head. So I'm going to be here, my partner steps forward, and as he punches, I'm going to step in towards his punch, step him off the line, and at the same time, I'm counter-striking his strike, which breaks his balance. From here, at the same time, I'm going to throw a punch up in his chin. So we'll take a step back again, exactly the same thing again. So we'll strike up into the chin. I'm grab the throat, throw with the sofa gary, and whilst he's down there and my hand is still on his throat, I keep this, this arm wrapped around his elbow, put it onto my own arm, kneel on the side of the head, and apply the locking technique. Uh, okay, what we'll do this time is exactly the same technique, the Namazuki, but to the left hand side. So once again, my partner takes me a step back into his stance. As he throws his fist forward to punch, I step off the line, counter strike, and punch him at the same time. Grab the throat, throw with the sotagari, wrap around, and keep him controlled. Okay, technique number two is Agozuki which is uppercut punch. So it's going to happen, I'm, I'm relatively close to my partner this time. Obviously, you can't, you can't do an uppercut punch from far away. It's an inmost punch, only you're punching up into their, their jaw. So I'm relatively close to my partner. As he punches, I see it coming. I'm going to block it with my left hand. At the same time, I'm going to trap up with my right, grabbing a hold of the wrist, and rotate him over in this direction, which makes his body go off balance. Stepping forward, thrust my hand forward down into the break between his shoulder and his tricep. Okay, Agazuki from the opposite side, so second technique. Again, I'm in close to my partner. He throws the uppercut. I'm going to block, trap, and rotate in order to break his balance. And as I step forward, project him forwards. Okay, technique number three is Gamanzuki, which is a straight punch to the face. So from here, thrust forwards, and back again. So as your partner steps forward to punch it, you step off the centre line, and using your left hand, you're going to sweep their hand to the side. Immediately, your other hand comes up, across, and pushes their elbow away in order to break their balance and stop them from being able to punch it from the other, with the other hand. You turn your hips in towards your partner, strike them in towards their kidneys. <coughs> hand comes around, underneath the chin, take a hold, apply the Hadaka Jimmy, and pull them backwards ever so slightly to break their balance. Okay, we'll do the damage with you one more time, and we'll do it a little bit faster than we've done with the, the teaching part. So again, the partners on the stands, we step forward and punch. Trap, strike. Okay, Gamin Suki to the opposite side this time, left handed side. So you take a right stance opposite the partner, he steps forward to punch, off the line, parry, strike, and apply the Dakajin. Okay, technique number four is my Gary. So you step forward into the left stance, and what's going to happen in order to perform the my Gary is you turn your twit and change your hands over. Project your hip forward, raise your knee, and kick forwards. So from here, my Gary. So as a partner does that, I step forward and off the line. So kick it. Lift the foot up, take a hold of the heel, take a hold of the foot at the top by the big toe, lift and twist. Project your partner backwards. Okay, this time is my Gary, exactly the same technique, only done to the left hand side. So this time you take up a right stance, right finger stance, 
Then you're changing your hands over again, projecting your hip forward, raising, kick in, and back. So my game. So this time as a partner does it, we're going to step to the side, sweep again, take hold of the heel, grab the foot, rotate and lift. Project your partner backwards. Okay, technique number five is Yoko Gehry. So how you perform with Yoko Gehry is here, I'm going to turn my foot out on the bottom of my foot, chamber my leg, extend the leg, and back. So what's going to happen, my partner walks towards me, and as he does, he performs Yoko Gehry, I parry it, he drops the foot down to the side, as I slide past him, take a hold of him by the shoulders, drop one in my knee, and pull him backwards. Okay, Yoko Gerex, exactly the same technique, but from the opposite side. So my battle comes towards me and strikes. Step up to the side, parry. Bring down, drop. Okay, technique number five is Sukaki. So what's going to happen? My partner's got a knife that's stuck inside his gi. Now this is a really long one, so I can see it. But, in general, I can't see the knife. I'm standing at the side of him, he puts his hands on the knife and as he draws it backwards, I'm going to grab him by the elbow, strike him in the chin, take the wrist, we'll take the elbow up and we'll take him down to the ground. We'll take the wrist up and apply the lock. Yeah, in doing so, using pain compliance, he'll let the knife go. If he doesn't, just by applying the lock and saying, let that knife go, allows me the opportunity to strip the knife and it'll be back in a controlled position. Okay, this time so you can't get exactly the same thing, but from the opposite side. So he's now going to stab it with his left hand. So again, I'm standing inside the other partner, he draws the knife out, as he pulls it back, using the elbow, I force the elbow up, striking the chin, take the wrist, rotate, pull him forward, turn the wrist. Again, by applying the lock, by keeping the wrist tight high above the shoulder, I'm forcing the fingers down towards his ear, I apply the lock, and even, take hold of the knife, sure. Even if he keeps hold of the knife, and now, if I take this and I say, let go of the knife, uh, using pain compliance, there's no way he's going to keep hold of the knife. So by doing this, that allows me to take the knife, strip it away, and remain in a controlled position. Okay, technique number seven is chokuzuki, which is a straight thrust to the stomach. So basically, my partner's just going to try and start me directly in the stomach. Now, as he does, if we do this nice and slowly at first, as he steps forward, I'm going to step towards him and off the line. At the same time, parrying the, the knife hand and catching it with the other hand. Rotate my arm up, strike in the face, and then rotate the arm downwards. We take him forwards, lift it up, and if he keeps a tight hold of the knife, as tight as he can, by rotating the knife forwards, the knife either drops, and if it doesn't drop, take it to the back, and strip it away from his hands in order to remain in a controlled position. Uh, okay, we'll do that technique one more time, but we'll do it a little bit quicker. So this time my partner comes to start me, as he does, parry, grab, strike, rotate, down onto the ground, turn the wrist up, strip the knife away, and finish in a controlled position. Okay, once again, technique number seven, we're going to do exactly the same thing, but to the opposite side. So my partner steps forward to stab me, I'm going to parry, trap, strike, rotate, pull him down onto the front, lift this hand up so it's above the shoulder, yeah, and strip the knife away using the back of the hand, finishing in a controlling position. <laughs> 